I'm one of only I think that she like this Rocks the lifestyle and you never gonna find this If she throw ass up Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, how we doing? This is your boy B checking in with 440 Kicks Today, if you couldn't already tell, we're going over some bare bricks. Personally, my favorite collector's piece, and debatably the hottest collectible in all of streetwear. Gonna take you through the ins and outs of the bare brick, as well as their significance in culture, and what, frankly, they mean. Let's get into it. What's going on, family? Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. We are going to be going over the bare brick today. The history, culture, everything you need to know to know what a bare brick is and its significance in culture. Bear bricks were established by Mita Comtoy in 1996, okay? They've been around for a while now. They're vinyl pieces. They're, they're plastic pieces. If you couldn't tell, they're, they're plastic bears. It's basically the combination of a Lego and a teddy bear. You get the best of both worlds with this guy. As mentioned, Medicom Toy was established in 1996. Medicom's goal has been providing collectible and somewhat limited collectibles, toys, to this sort of streetwear culturistic movement, if you will, right? And so they started off with the Kubrick. The Kubrick was basically this figure. They didn't come in necessarily a teddy bear. No, they just came in different shapes and sizes. Now, they generally were in a box shape where they were confined to a box per se, but they did not look cookie cutter like these bear bricks do right here. So this Kubrick is important because this laid the groundworks of the actual creation of the bear brick. There's been a long timeline of events that's happened that has really crafted what the bare bricks are today. So we're going to walk through that. I'm going to educate you, hopefully clear up some confusion. You probably see these bare bricks for sale on my story and wonder, wow, like what is this? You know, what's the significance of this? And so essentially I'm going to clear that confusion up for you. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be intrigued to cop some bare bricks for yourself. Okay, let's get into it. So Medicom Toy, 1996. Bear Brick was originally introduced on May 27th of 2001 at this Japanese convention where essentially these bears, which were the iconic at symbol, were passed out at a convention. It was a free toy. They wanted to get their name out there. They're breaking the grounds as to what Bear Bricks are today. These bears have made it into celebrities' homes, MTV cribs, and even art galleries. It, it's more so of a movement at this point. My best way to compare this would probably be similar to that of Pokemon cards. These are a bit different in the fact that they're actually mini sculptures. However, cards have that significant trading or collecting or artistic value to them. When you see old Pokemon cards, they come across as vintage. They come across as classic, original. And they grow into a newer form that becomes the today, the futuristic view of it, right? As you will see with these bare bricks, some of them are a little more vintage, whether it's the early series with the cause collaborations and then the later series where, you know, you're seeing figures like it and the Despicable Me or whether it's today where you're seeing bare bricks of Tom and Jerry. You'll see how it's really become what it is today. So the thing I love about the bare brick, it's not necessarily a mini sculpture per se. It actually is the crossroads of businesses, organizations, and streetwear. And when I begin to explain and show you these different ones, you'll see what I mean by that. Because a lot of these bare bricks sitting here are representations of other companies. So I like to think of it as a collaboration. You see Peanuts figures, you see Garfield, you see Japanese anime brands, if you will. And it really brings together all of these different concepts and cultures into one common theme, the bare brick. With hundreds and even thousands of different types of bear bricks. There are so many to collect and build into your own artillery. Now, when you first look at these things, okay, you're probably thinking, you know what? They're kind of like a kid's toy. You know, I look at it, it's something my son would be gnawing on. My three-year-old son, he'd be throwing it at the wall because it's a teddy bear, but it's a Lego. You know, he's putting it on these castles and he's shooting them with Nerf guns. And eventually, when he's 13, he's blowing them up with dynamite. Kids toy. Now, yes, kids can definitely be into them, but it takes a seasoned mind to be able to fully and deeply understand and appreciate these figures because they aren't just toys. They're pieces of art. With such a big culture with these bear bricks, there are still so many people that are uncultured in the sense that they still do not know what a bear brick. In fact, when I was looking for these in my own state of Ohio, I probably called every single toy store that is in Ohio. And I got to say, statistically speaking, 90 
to about 96% of the people I called and asked if they had bare bricks didn't even know what they were. There really is a lack of knowledge. I don't even want to say in Ohio, but in the United States as to what these are. They may associate them with bears and celebrities' houses and such, but over in Japan, these are a lot bigger. This is their hometown. It's kind of still getting imported here, you know? So how much do these things run? Well, you heard me say collectible. You heard me say streetwear. And you heard me say, well, limited. You're probably thinking, well, buddy, I mean, how much are we talking here? I'm not looking to drop a check into a Van Gogh exhibit, okay? I'm just looking to have a little something I can enjoy. Well, these boys range from $5 to $200,000, with that sale being the Kai 2, 1,000% bear, if I may. 2008, I believe. $200,000. It's pricier than some houses. We're talking about a plastic brick here, folks. If that doesn't outline the hype for this. But they come in various different sizes. So, yes, you've seen the big ones. You've seen the little ones. Well, let me break it down for you. We're going to provide a wonderful chart above my head from 50% to 1,000%. Now, when you look at a 50% bear, I don't have any 50% bears. Those are the older ones. Okay, I'm honestly a little newer into this, but I'm very passionate about it because I'm in love with the collecting and just the thought of these guys. The oldest ones I have are from, I don't know, what, what, what year is this? Series 10. So, like, 2005. These bears are from 2005. These series 10 ones including this one but the 50 percent bears they're smaller bears so they were found in the older series and as you move up the scale obviously the bears get bigger so you got 50 percent which is probably i don't know close to half of this and then you have 70 percent which is the next one along the chart here with this little guy on the bottom that's a 70 percent then you move to 100 percent which are basically 99 percent of the bears here are 100 percent yay tall then you have 200% bears, which are a little bigger, 400% bears, which are about yay big, maybe, and 1,000% bears, which are probably as tall as I am while I'm sitting here. So here's how the drops work for the bear bricks. Essentially, there are two series, or seasons, if you will think of it that way, that drop per year, in the summer and in the winter. Starting with series one, we are currently on what this bear is from, Series 41. So you can think of it, two series drop every year. Ranging on how many there are in the set, you break these series down into categories. Yes, you can think about it as a Supreme drop in the fact that there's two drops a year, or two seasons you'd think of Supreme, but two drops a year for bear bricks. There's subcategories in these bear brick releases to explain what exactly each bear brick is. So these categories include hero, animal, cute, science fiction, flag, pattern, jelly bean, horror, artist, and secret. So 10, 10 total, if you will, categories on these bear bricks. This, this is Aquaman. This is a hero brick. The heroes come in various different heroes, whether it's Batman, whether it's Aquaman, whether it's other Marvel figures, whether it's foreign heroes, whatever it is, they're heroes. Flag. There's a lot of various flag bears. There's one flag bear per case, and they all encapsulate a different territory. Pattern bears. Pattern bears come in, well, patterns, usually one pattern bear box, and they'll come in cool designs like this one. This is kind of like a trippy looking, this is series 41. I really like this pattern bear. This is probably the cleanest one I've seen, but there are some other cool ones. Science fiction. Science fiction. That's just what it is. You know, whether it's a movie, science fiction. It's the easiest way to put it. Okay. Jelly bean. I don't know. They're cute. They just come in different colors. And I mean, obviously this one's an ombre. Super cool. This is another type of jelly bean. That gives you any idea. You know, they're, they're, they're blank. They're always blank. And they're just colored. They're fun. This is another jelly bean, too. This is the newest one. I really like this jelly bean. It's adorable. Jelly bean. Animal. Curious fucking George. Boys. This banana gobbler, he's he's a keeper. Okay? I was going to say, I'm sure you know thing or two about <laughs> banana gobbler. This guy is banana gobbling on your bitch. That's all I'm saying. All right? That's me putting it nicely. Animal. Super cute. Horror. Not your bitch. Horror like the movie. Your bitch is a horror too, but <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. Pennywise, classic figure. 
I mean, this is just cool, bro. Like, there's a bear break for everybody, you know? Whether it's Curious George and you watched him when you were younger, or whether it's Pennywise and being a Stephen King fan and just being a fan of horror movies, or whether it's just a pattern bear and you just like cool-looking things that you want to have on your shelf. I mean, there really is, like, a bear break for everyone to enjoy and appreciate. Aquaman, you know, you could be into superheroes and in the movies and all that. Jelly Beans, just a cool-looking thing. Science fiction. And there's so many that you're not even seeing here that it's just, like, there is a bear break for you out there. Watch your boy's story and let me know when you like one. I'm going to toss you a little deal on it. I just want to get people hip. That's the whole thing. Like, I'm not trying to make loads of money off of these things. Like, when I get them and I try to sell them, first of all, it's because they're a duplicate and I already have it. And I'm just an avid collector for them, so I just want to have everyone I can. But secondly, nobody else in Ohio really has them like that. The culture level in the, in the tri-state area is just piss poor. I mean, come on, guys. We could step it up a little bit. Now, obviously, some of them are a little more pricier than others because that's the whole point of it. There's limited bears. There's rare bears and as i'll talk about assortment rates but i mean there's one you can appreciate you know what i mean and i'll show you all of them you'll get to see them all artist various artists do collaborations with bear brick and Medicom toy and they come out with cool little collab bears if you will kind of like supreme doing a collab with the north face or this coming season nerf but as you can tell it's just a quality bear this one even feels different so meant to be nicer but yeah that's an artist brick and cause was one of the original artist bears and that brick is worth a penny right now i mean just because of what cause has become of a brand and you know the continual growth and expansion of the bear brick culture i mean that cause bear is worth a coin right now so down the line a lot of these could be worth something you know the garfield ones classic garfield collectors and maybe they're not even necessarily into bear bricks it could just be the fact that, you know, oh, well, Garfield has a collaboration with Bear Brick. I want that Bear Brick. It could be selective because, as I've been saying, there's a bear for everyone. Cute. This little puppy is a Peanuts figure, if you couldn't tell already. And there also is Snoopy and some other Peanuts characters. This little gal is just a cute little bear. It's just a category called cute, and there's usually an adorable looking guy that gets put into this every series. Cute is the basic bear. Okay, so basically, every series has a color-coded bear. As you can tell, this is series 37 color of the bear, you'll open bears to where they spell out bear brick. It'll be B-E at R-B-R-I-C-K. So like this is the at. I only have a couple of these. They spell out bear brick and you're supposed to have a whole set of them. Obviously you can see I got other different color series ones because they are the most common coming in at 14.58% assortment rate. Those are the different types of bear bricks that you could lay your hands on. The last type of bear brick is the secret bear. And those are the bears that aren't even included on the series set boxes, meaning they're hidden and they have a 0.52 or a 1.04 assortment or pool rate. And those ones are rare. Let me show you one. So essentially, sometimes these secret bears are companions to characters that are already present in the set. For example, you saw me do Pennywise. I got a Georgie bear. This is a secret bear that comes in that series because it's not on the box and you don't know what's in there until you finally end up pulling one. Another great way to just create that limited feel with it that you know that you're going for these assortment rates that already have the percents on the side of the box but at the same time you could pull out one that is not even listed on there and that is when it gets addicting because then you just turns into a treasure hunt you know what i mean you're just ripping open cardboard and plastic just looking for that next guy you know so this one for example well i have a lot of them there a lot of them are in these cases so this bear right here is the post pet it's just a secret bear that wasn't on the box you also have Delivery Parking, which was part of Series 40 right here, this blue bear looking guy. And this one, even from Series 41, the newest set, just a cool, intricate bear that's just different. And it's not on the box. So it's like when you find it, you're like, oh my god, Japan! Like, hoo chow! It's just one of those things where it's like, fuck! <laughs> Treasure, baby. Every bear has an assortment rate, though. I just listed the categories, I showed you some examples, but they all have assortment rates. So as I said, the secret has an assortment rate of 0.52 or 1.04%. The basic bears have an assortment rate of 14.58%, which is high because that's the most common one, hence the name basic. Jelly bean usually clocks in at about 8.33%. And as I said, those are these little guys that are coming in different colors. They're usually an ombre or a cool color mesh of the combinations. Flags can range from anywhere from 52 to 9.37%, depending on the series. These are, you know, just to give you a vague idea based on other similar series. They're not always going to be set in stone at these numbers, other than the basic, though, and the secret. These flag ones can be a little more common or not as common. But at the same time, you know, it's like whatever you're pulling out, if you're not pulling out a case of them like I am, which when you're opening a case, your percent of getting 
a wide variety of them is high. If you're just pulling a single box out, at the end of the day, whatever category you land in, it's a limited pull. It's like, it's like opening a Pokemon pack of cards. And you know, you're gonna have your Charizards here and there, but then you're also gonna have your Jigglypuffs or your Oddishes or you know, just the boring kind of more basic cards. So there's really a variety you could go through when opening these. Artists can range anywhere from 2.08% to nearly 8%. It's a wide variety. It depends and it varies on the series, but usually the artists are generally more rare. Patterns can come in at around 11.45%, and some of them are more rare. I, I don't know, based on this box, this pattern from series 41 is 8.33%. So those can be a little more rare too, just because they can come in cool colors and Honestly, the ones that I've sold have generally been the patterns because they're just sought after universal bears that anybody can enjoy sitting on their desk. Horror bears can range from 6.25% to upwards of 10%, such as this Pennywise. This is a lower percent, just as it's targeted to be a more limited bear. And moving on to the heroes. Heroes are generally around 7.29%, somewhere in there. Whether it be Aquaman or Wonder Woman, whatever the hero bear is, they're generally a little more rare. Science fiction can range from 6.25 to upwards of 10% as well. And animal bears can sit around 8.33%, so also can be generally low. And cute bears can range upwards of 13.57%. Again, it's depending on the series. I'm just trying to give you a general gauge of what each category is. So as you can kind of tell, the artist bricks can be a little more rare Whereas, obviously, the basic bricks, those are going to have your highest assortment rates just because they're basic. They're, they're meant to be found. You're supposed to find the whole lettering of bear brick at some point. And ask me, my producer, how much it costs. I said it costs the rent, bitch. I said I'm coming through to pick your bitch up to spend my check, little bitch. Little bitch. Hopped up in the whip and I ain't looking for sex. I'm looking for neck, little bitch. Little bitch. Bitch. Did she pull over, pull her down her panties. I said, baby, just wanted the neck, little bitch. The so in conclusion, bear bricks have made an impact on streetwear and culture as a whole. Ever since May 27th of 2001, the bear bricks have been kicking ass and dropping cool figures that have not only been collectible and limited, but also have grown to be worth a pretty penny to this day. I personally love these things. I don't see why anyone wouldn't be able to enjoy these. And even if you have a couple bear bricks, you can appreciate and enjoy what, what the brand, brand Metacom, as, well as well as the, the movement, movement has, has to, to offer. offer. If you're looking to pick up a new hobby, or quite frankly, if you just want to invest in something that's going to be worth something someday, and be able to enjoy it sitting on your shelf, Bear Bricks are f So, you open your Bear Bricks case, and each one comes with a name card, if you will. So, you'll open the brick up, it'll come in a plastic pack, and I'm actually going to open one box for you out of Series 35 to show you what it looks like you'll get a name tag as well as that corresponding bear. So before I leave you, I'm gonna open one box for you. This is Series 35, the newest one I got in. So this is a display case, what you would find in a store. So you take your bear brick, on each side of the box it shows the assortment rate and exactly what bears are to be found in this. As I said, the secret bears won't be on here. You can see the names, cute, horror, all that good stuff right next to the bear. Looks like the most rare one is an artist at 2.08%. Batman is the hero in this series, 6.25%. That's lit. Anyways, we're opening this bit. So you open it, comes out like so. You're going to have two pieces. Like I said, the name tag card, which goes to this bear, and then the bear. I don't know if any of that sounds satisfying, but if it does, we're going to throw it in there. And the bear. It's Batman! Let's go, baby! Do you have that bear? No, this is, I don't have any of these bears. First pull of the fucking box, as mentioned, Batman. You can see it in my eyes. It's a good fucking day here. We're winning. We're laughing. We're chilling. That is a sick-ass bear right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a sick-ass bear. That is just sweet. All right, I'm opening one more for the folks because this is just exciting. Now, we're going to make this a whole video. Drop a thumbs up if you like it. I will open all of these on another video. We'll go through it. You'll see my reactions. It'll be a good time, okay? So leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know what you think. We're opening one more before we let you boys go to the entertainment here. Okay, I'd like to manifest this really quick, though. 
So the pattern bear looks like Where's Waldo. That would be beautiful to pull out the Where's Waldo bear. If not, whatever bear it is, totally cool. Oh, flag bear. So you've seen the bear bricks opened. I've opened your eyes to the culture. And quite frankly, we've had a very fun and educational set up going here tonight so i want to thank you all for tuning in if you like that smash the thumbs up button or let me know if you want another one hope you learned something get in the game today okay that's all i'm saying get in the game today bear bricks are cool they're not going anywhere they're gonna be around for a while they're only getting hotter so step the hell up pull out a franklin or a tubman and buy a couple of these guys okay dm your boy 440 kicks on ig it's been real look at ya Get your ass in. If a nigga me, you know we